Hello to the yub tubs and things. We are picking right up where we left off yesterday with uh, Final Fantasy 16. <laughs> in fact, I never even fully closed the game. I just uh, put the PlayStation 5 in rest mode, and that was about it. Visit Sid Solar. You got it, dude. No quests or anything yet? Probably after the talking. It's nice to see the hideaway finally coming alive. Wasn't so long ago us old hands were ratting about the place like peas in a bucket. Peas in a bucket, huh? Is that is that a real thing that people say? Peas in a bucket? What's up, Chocobo? Welcome, my guy. My god, dude. We can keep running. Or we can walk through this door. Uh, continue running. That's, that's my pick. No, I'm <laughs> joking. <laughs> Obviously, no. Bad pick. Uh, screen brightness. Every time we come through here, man, I feel like it's too dark. But then, like, I don't know. <laughs> and then I turn it up, and I'm like, ah, oh, it's too bright. I'll turn it back down. And I'm like, nah, it's too dark again, dude. So I just don't know. This place is getting more Oof. The day. That sucks, Chocobo. <laughs> I'm sorry to hear that, dude. Be time enough for quiet contemplation when I'm dead. So, did you find the answers you were looking for? Hey, Noodle. I still don't know what to make of this gift, curse, or whatever it is I've been given. But there is one thing I can say for certain I am a dominant. Ifrit. And there is nothing I can do to change that. It is a burden I must bear until my dying day. <laughs> Spoken true. Forgiveness and in turn salvation can only begin with acceptance. It's a path we all must walk, no matter how colorful our histories. Sid, you once told me that you wanted to build a place where people could die on their own terms. I did. I've been thinking about that. Why not a place where people can live on their own terms? For 13 years, killing was all I knew. So obsessed with death that I never stopped to consider the lives of those around me. Lives that I see now were scarcely worth living. Hey, thanks for the resub, my guy. Most but march blindly to their end, never realizing that they too deserve a choice. And I dare not turn a blind eye to their suffering any longer. So, atonement then, is it? That was the answer we found. The only one we need. I'll be expecting you both to pull your weight. And we will. <laughs> well then, with a sprinkle of fire and ice, this plan of mine might just work. <sighs> what trouble are you looking to get yourself into now? The best kind. We're going to sneak into the Imperial <laughs> Capital <laughs> and pay a visit. Yeah, so you haven't watched much of Final Fantasy 16. Um, the problem is the audio balancing in this is like a movie, not so much like a game. So it's quiet right now, but five, ten minutes from now, it'll be blaring fucking loud. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's terrible, the audio balancing is. So I can either just have it way too loud, or I can have it kind of in the middle and that's yeah <laughs> without some software bullshit messing with it this is as good as it's gonna get the black creeps closer as we speak and yet you do not but fall and bluster your radiance that was my thinking exactly, yeah. <laughs> exactly. We got the subtitles. 
technically, if you turn it all the way up, you should be able to hear what people are saying, but yeah. I already don't like this guy. It's the first time we're seeing him, but I... We are bound by mutual accord. Theirs is a neutral state whose borders we are sworn to respect. Gentlemen, really? I can. Did we swear to see our people? Of course, I'm wearing like headphones and shit, though. The gates of Oriflam buckle at the flood of those come seeking refuge from the blight. Mm, yeah, that's probably the problem. The mobile. Our walls, how, pray tell, will we feed those without? But instead of setting your minds to riddles such as these, you lock horns with an enemy from across the sea, sending our soldiers to the slaughter in their thousands. See, on the TV, I usually turn it off for movies because I don't really mind if it gets super loud since it's just Noodle and I here. But on the TV for, like, shows and shit like that, we have the uh, volume leveling software running on the TV to help fix it, like... Psycho, what's up, dude? Hello, hello? We are but their servants. <laughs> You're getting back into farming some off the jack? No shit, dude. It is our duty to claim new lands for them. Your radiance! You cannot mean a war of conquest. Mm. That is exactly what I mean. It is time we expanded our dominion. This is the will of great Grieger. <laughs> when every single one of your advisors is like, this is a terrible idea, maybe consider it, dude. And what of our legion? Shall we raise the furs? Well, someone will have to contend with the Dalmex. I will not keep you. You all have much to do. This dude's royalty at his finest. Go do this terrible thing I decided. Damn the consequences. Y'all can take the heat for it. And uh, I'm gonna go chill somewhere. <laughs> Where is my son? The Lord Prince is currently garrisoned at the Strait of Arthur. If it please you, I can send word requesting his immediate return to the Holy Capital. That won't be necessary. Tell him instead to see to his wounds. Bahamut's strength will be needed again soon. As you command. Mmm, his son's Bahamut. Okay. I gotcha. I must have misheard. You mean to tell me that the mother crystals are the reason the world is dying? Are you mad? I have been called that on occasion, but no, not today. We've all seen it firsthand. Empty wastes where once were green meadows. Land drained so dry of its ether, not even the rats were named. Mm -hmm. But where was it all going? I spent years searching for an answer until I saw it standing right in front of me. There, in the self-same crystals, we look to for their so-called blessing. Interesting. So the crystals are like stealing ether from the land to power themselves? All right, listen. Take this crystal. How does it allow us to conjure magics? Answer, by drawing ambient ether from the air. Where do these crystals come from? Cutscene yeah, this easy. game's just and as I much cutscene as it is gameplay, honestly. They're one and the same. Although, admittedly, this here fits more easily in the pocket. But the mother crystals are massive. Some as large as mountains. So you see the problem. Imagine just how much ether can be drawn by something that size. As to where it's all going, mind. Well... I can't know everything, can I? We are told that the mother crystals are divine. Their ether a gift from the heavens. For centuries, nations have fought and fallen for want of that gift. If what you say is true, how did no one else see it? Who 
apologize they didn't. Maybe the truth was inconvenient. Inconvenient to whom, exactly? All the nations that use its gifts. The, -ups, the gods themselves. <sighs> so now you want to do something about the crystals? And what? We're not helping bearers and dominance anymore. I didn't say that. I made a promise and I intend to keep it. I did, we man. Continue down this path. There's only one fate that awaits the realm. I thought this game was crazy for having like 20 hours of main story cutscene. If they're all lying dead. And then I saw that story today. Like that was insane. Want to create a place where they can live on their own terms anyway. Now I wonder how much of that is like main story and how much of that is side shit, but regardless, even if only a third of it is main story, you know, or a quarter of it, that's still holy hell. In order to build us a new one. What say you? Are you with me? I suppose it's about time I repaid your faith. <laughs> <laughs> you could have just said I. But it's nice to have you aboard all the same. 75 to 100 hours complete, a lot of branch pass, side stuff, etc. Yeah, I mean, I'm pretty sure whenever they announced that, didn't they even say that was across all the different paths that you could possibly take? So you would have to play through the game, like, many times to see all 174 hours of it? I'm going to need more than a few potions for this. If everything we were taught about the Mother Crystals was a lie, then what else might we have been deceived about? Who knows, girl? Who knows? Okay, we got one side quest. We might as well go ahead and do that. I'll check out the crafting stuff too, but uh, I've basically fully come to terms with the fact that crafting and exploring in this game is more or less pointless. <laughs> it's, uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I love the game, don't get me wrong, but it's definitely got its problems. Hey, Nectar. Careful you don't see set that breath alight, Koopo. Oh. <laughs> Guessing good old Blackthorn here has been drinking a bit. What new recipes you got for us, my guy? Well, we can make Flame Tongue now. Oh, you upgrade Stormcry to Flame Tongue. That makes sense. Um, yeah, I mean, we might as well, right? I can't imagine actually needing... Fire shard meter, right? Yeah. Not bad. If I do say so myself. Flame tongue. Wait, it was equipped. Why was it automatically equipped? Anything else? Gear, sword. I guess just because it was better. Uh. We should have at least looked at the other one though, so we could get a a look at it. But oh well. Quick. Since we're Sorry, here, my guy, if I were to upgrade any of this stuff, would it be better? No. No, what we're wearing is pretty decent, apparently. Decent enough for me, at least. Oh, wait. Oh, there's a couple quests. I missed one. Uh, Let's do this one first. It's closer. These aren't the important ones. I've been informed by Chocobo that the important ones have little plus signs on them. But, I mean, we're going to do all of the side quests anyways. Where are you, Randall? Is everything all right? Forgive me, young man. I was in a world of my own. I'm worried about my friend, you see. He left some time ago and hasn't returned. You know what it's like out there for a bearer on his own. Why leave the safety of the hideaway? Coin. Sad though it is, our need outweighs the risk. I didn't expect the them to have a postmaster down here. And though Karen does what she can, her coffers aren't bottomless. Wait, you were a soldier, were you not? In the Imperial Army? I was. Then 
I ask a favour of you. I'm too old to be traipsing hither and yon. Will you go I suppose we could do that. Pretty close to the end now. I was wondering if you were going to beat it before you uh, got off can. your vacation. Oh, thank you. Well, can you tell Final rest of real close, yeah. <laughs> His name is Randall, and I suspect you'll find him in Lost Wing. He's been working for Quinton, the tavern keeper. Probably not. You'll know something, I'm sure. Close, though. Safe travels, my friend. And thank you again. No problem, my guy. Happy to help. We'll prioritize it, sure. Uh, since that actually has us leaving the hideaway, though, I'm going to go grab the other one real quick, too. So we don't have to leave, come back, and then possibly leave again. Hello, Glenn the Courier. You've lost a letter. Nothing too important, I hope. Spoilers are going to finish the hump board tonight. I thought there was a hump board. I'm pretty sure... Hasn't every Final Fantasy since 12 had a hump board of some kind? How could it be any worse? I'm a courier. I carry things. If I can't do my job right, then what am I good for? Nothing, that's what. I buggered it right up. That means no herbs for the infirmary and no fresh meat for our cooking pots. Worst of all... That letter I lost? It was for Sid. Oh, <laughs> damn it, Glenn. Days. Maybe if you retrace your steps. I'd scour storm from coast to coast if I could, but there are curse breakers in the field counting on my arrival. No. I'll just have to own Oh, up see, I didn't even think Sid. about that. I consider gonna skin me alive. 13 2 and 13 3 to be like side quest or side games. What's the spin-offs? There you go. I consider them to be spin-offs. Fine. Tell me where to look. Are you serious? 132 had one, you think? Thank you. See, and I've never even played Sounds Lightning like Returns. I have played a bit of 132, but haven't so finished it. Why should I start? Um no Yeah, 133 Lightning perhaps. Returns I've never even played. I took a tumble in the bushes when I was passing through. There's a chance my pack might have caught on something. If you can find and I know 14 does. All a favor. And if at if least of a sword. I mean, it's an MMO. Half the game is just killing random life. creatures. Uh, if it's there, <laughs> 15 it. had hunts. 16 Wonderful. has hunts. Now, 7 didn't have hunts, though, did it? 7 Remake? Again, kind of a spin-off, but... Oh, and hurry, will you? Sid doesn't like to be kept waiting. A little late there saying hi to Psycho, aren't you, love? <laughs> I'm assuming sure you were doing something. Uh, I mean, I'm not going to prioritize it, but yeah, we'll do that one too. The letter won't last very long out in the elements. I should make for Sunbreak as soon as I can. So I've talked about it a couple of times, but I've been using this website. It's like kind of social media-ish, but for specifically centered around gaming. And games and shit like that. I mostly use it to like track my gameplay or what I've beaten, what I haven't beaten in my, my collection. Um, but you can use it for whatever the hell you want, of course. Anyways, point is the they have some challenges that you can do. The challenges are usually just like completing games or beating games. Sometimes within a time limit, sometimes it's just like finish this series uh, in general or whatever. And uh, I took one for Final Fantasy 16. The challenge is to beat it within the first three months. I don't think we're really going to have a problem with that. I think I think we're going to complete it within the first three months. Not that worried about that. Um, but there's another one that I just accepted today for something to do with summer. To, to finish SpongeBob Battle for Bikini Bottom. I accepted the challenge, but like I didn't realize when I did that it was time-based. <laughs> but now I'm kind of feeling the need to play Could Battle for Bikini Bottom. Still no sign of Sid's letter, though. That might be something I end up playing in my free time. Probably the remake. Not the original. Although the original is on the list of games for us to complete eventually, so. Or I'll just say screw it and not complete the challenge. That's a possibility too. 
Well, if you do. Wait, I did pass a dog with something in its mouth a little while back. Could have been a piece of paper. No idea if Damn it was a dogs, never... man. Which way did it go? Towards Lost Wing. Seemed well looked after to me. Dare say someone there's been feeding it. To the village then. Is it the mayor by any chance? Because that would make things convenient. Also, OptiJack, I forgot to ask you, man. Since you resubbed, did you want to put five votes on any game in particular? Anything on the list to complete or basically any PS2 game, whatever? Okay, I don't see any more quest markers. And as we discussed earlier, not much of a point to exploring here. So we're just going to run over to the quest markers. Sorry, I don't think RTX voice blocked that one. I might sneeze again. Nope, I think we're okay. Oh, boy. Let you take a look? Yeah, take your time, man. Take your time. The list ain't going anywhere. I put some... Uh... Holy shit. <laughs> There's 25 for RE4. Let's go, dude. I admit, I was watching... I think it's Stop Skeletons from Fighting video, I think it was. Um, about the Resident Evil 4 demos, the various ones. And, uh, I, it, it does make me want to play RE4 more. Give it a little bit more of a Hi, chance. Did Master Quentin summon you? Any of the green ones? Yeah, any of the green ones are the ones that are coming up for us just to try Shards out. But there is a list on there, like on the bottom that you can select. Yeah, white ones are ones that I don't own yet. Uh, that would be voting on me to buy them and then play them soon afterwards. Um, but there is a section for games to complete as well. And you can vote on literally any of the ones on that there. Those ones aren't all PS2 stuff. Mostly PS2 stuff, but not all. It seems we have our culprit. Sorry, boy. Someone's waiting for this. He's waited long enough already. Hopefully this will keep our career out of trouble. That dog doesn't look like uh, it's oh, that well fed, to be honest. Can you change your votes? Yeah, what do you want to change your votes to, dude? I can, I can move them for you. I'll just do it now before I forget. Those are the blue ones, I assume? Hold up. <laughs> Let me just load up the sheet real quick so I don't fuck anything up. Oh, yeah, Tactics Advance. You got it, dude. We do need to play that. Um. Okay. So, if you're in the redump set, any of the green ones are the ones that I'll be playing soon, based off of votes. Any of the white ones are ones that I don't own. You can still vote on them. It's just you're voting on me to try and pick it up earlier um, and then play it relatively quickly after getting it. And then if you go down to the Games to Complete tab, because there's different tabs along the bottom, there's just a bunch of different games. The green ones are ones that um, the next time we roll will be rolled on. The blue ones are eligible for a roll, but have no votes. And the red ones just aren't currently eligible for a roll. Usually that's because it's a game later in a series and we haven't played the earlier one yet. Oh. Just real quick, so I don't forget about Chocobo changing his vote. 25 from RE4 onto Tactics Advance. There we go. All right. Now speak with Quentin or Guitar Hero. <laughs> I do still want to, like, I plan on playing those games. I just have to, we're either going to have to play Muted or I'm going to have to make a, a custom ISO for it so that we can play with non copywritten songs, one or the other. I do think, like, <laughs> that playing... Just completely muted would be kind of funny. I kind of want to do it just for the memes, but I don't. I don't think it would be all that entertaining. <laughs> just to be honest, is tactics and tactics advance related story wise? It's set in the same world. That's about all I can tell you. <laughs> I've played some tactics, but 
I haven't played Tactics Advance. I've seen Chocobo play a tiny bit of it, but that's about it. Oh, well, there you go. They are not. Same setting, though, yeah. Set in the same world, but yeah. Tactics, from what I played of it, yeah. I mean, I like Tactics games, and it's just Tactics-flavored Final Fantasy. Um, so, like, yeah. It was pretty enjoyable. It's a long game, though. It's not a short one at all. Ah, if it isn't Sid's young protege. To what do I owe the pleasure? I'm looking for a bearer called Randall. I hear he's been coming to you for work. He was expected back at the hideaway some time ago. A friend of his asked me to check on him. Randall, you say? The porter. Yes, yes, I know him. And I can't say I'm surprised if he has been delayed. I gave him enough to do. Though, thinking about it, he should probably nice. have been back <laughs> by now. I mean, whatever Good game enough. you want, man. Where was he headed? I got he Stardew on there, too. Of mine to the south of here, on Lorbert's Pass. I do hope nothing's happened to him. Be sure to let me know, Clive. One of these days, I do need to try out farming sim. I've just never been that interested in them. I know it's a series you've liked for a while, off the Jack. And I've seen some, like, gameplay of it on YouTube and whatnot. But, yeah, that's the thing. <laughs> like you just said, it's just like... I mean, I can see the appeal, right? Like, because if we're being honest, games like RuneScape, which I've dumped way too much time on back in the day, aren't really that much different. 90% of the time, you're just wasting time <laughs> like that's you know what i mean like so fair i get it is this yeah this is the right way um but yeah no i don't i don't know i don't know if i'd ever get into it but i should give it a try at least nice way to wind down see that's what i used to use back to nature for when i was younger after playing it a shit ton yeah, I from a couple of the bearers, what you I mentioned. started, uh, like, at night when I couldn't sleep. I would just load up Harvest Moon back to nature. And I'd play, you know, a few days of that. And by the time I was done with that, it was... I was pretty much ready to, to pass out. Like... <laughs> I could be playing Red Dead Redemption 2. Not trying to get your heart broken right now. Is it that bad, man? Do I have Red Dead Redemption on the list, the first one? If I don't, then, uh... Well, I will soon, because that's a series that I've been meaning to play through as well. Red Dead 1 and 2. Or Red Dead Redemption 1 and 2. Red Dead's another story. All right. We'll come to that when we come to it. The hanged man. Thank the gods. You're one of us. We were attacked. Beastmen on the road. Randall knew he didn't play the hero, but... <coughs> Reckless sod insisted on drawing him off. Where did this happen? Further down the road, in the clearing. Please, we have to see that he's safe. I'll do what I can. You go back to Lost Wing and tell Quentin what happened. Isn't the first one not related, though? Other than setting? Like, universe? Or am I mistaken on that? Or are you saying they're finally remaking... Okay, Red Dead Redemption 1, okay. Yeah, I thought you were talking about... Was it called Red Dead, or was it just called Red? I can't remember what it was actually called now, but... Why am I not surprised? See what I mean now, though? Like, <laughs> like suddenly it's a hell of a lot fast, or faster, louder than it was just a few minutes ago. Now, obviously, like, it's in combat at the moment, so not quite a fair assessment of it but it'll get this way during like cutscenes and shit sometimes too whenever they want you to be hype red dead revolver that was it yeah oh you bastard <laughs>
Oh, you dick. <laughs> that was some terrible dodging there, dude. I love the combat in this game so freaking much. I seriously hope, like, honestly, I'm more excited, I feel like, for Final Fantasy 17 than anything else. Because I'm hoping they take what they've learned from this game and apply it to the next one as far as story and combat goes. But just build a better game to go with it. Because while the, the world is interesting, it feels empty. And that's, like, the biggest problem with the game. Kind of a shit stagger there, but whatever. He'll be down quick enough. Final Fantasy Tactics, you got it, my guy. Throw those on now, because they're not on a list anywhere. A bone necklace. Oh, it's used in crafting. I thought that by itself was a piece of armor. I was like, damn, well, that's new. Try ignition? Okay. I did unlock it. I just never actually, like, equipped it. Uh, let's do, do, do. Ignition. Wait. Oh, you can't change them in... Oh, interesting. I was going to say that felt like a way to cheat the system, but you can't actually change these in in combat. Because it looks like, yeah, it resets it immediately. This one sounds cool to me, but in practice, I feel like it's just kind of boring. Oh, he's dead. Oh, yeah, he's he's dead, dead. Sorry, Randall. Looks like I was too late. He doesn't deserve to rot by the roadside. I'll speak to Quentin. Should probably re-equip it before I forget. <laughs> I wish that Ifri and uh and and Phoenix got two separate bars. I'll oh, pet the good boy. I haven't pet him in a while. I feel good, boy. He's a good dog. Uh, yeah, nothing else to do here. Back to town. Like sucks because being close to an enemy to attack also causes damage over time, so it doesn't last. Mm, yeah, that's true. I do remember seeing that in the uh, description for it. it. Does damage over time and then absorbs damage from enemy attacks. I still can't believe, like, who, <laughs> when they were making this game, who in their right mind was like, let's have cool little things that you can pick up all over the, the world as you explore, but those cool little things are going to be two gill, three bloody hides, uh, five wire right or whatever. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, bro, they really didn't want you exploring shit. I have heard that the game opens up a bit as you get into the late game. It kind of repeats the Final Fantasy 13 thing that everybody was complaining about back in the day. The game is extremely, not narrow, extremely linear in the early game and then doesn't open up until like the end. So I am excited to see what uh, that opening up is really about. There's a part of me that thinks it's probably not really much of anything, but we'll see. I don't think there's anything you have that I'm interested in. Ooh, Lionheart Tonic. That's new. Gradually fills the limit break gauge for 30 seconds. Ah, interesting. I don't feel like I need it, but interesting nonetheless. Sell, so, not Invictus, because I'm hoping we can upgrade that into something actually good at some point. And, uh, yeah, crafting materials feel more or less useless, but I'm going to keep them anyways because we also don't need money for anything. <laughs> so, what's the point? 
What is? Oh, this is just that. I thought maybe we finally found the hump board. Ah, there you are. My man told me what happened. And? I can't help but notice you're alone. Damn it. I feared as much. He's not far from the south gate. I trust you'll do right by him. Of course. I'll send someone right away. I knew he was brave, though I didn't know he was reckless. Poor fool. Have you known him long? A while. I liked the fact that he didn't shy away from dangerous work, and he liked what I paid. Because it helped keep the hideaway afloat. I'll tell Sid what happened here. I expect he'll be none too pleased to learn of Randall's fate. And I suppose you're none too happy either. For your trouble. Okay. <laughs> so a dude dies and uh, here you go. Take some basic crafting <laughs> mats. Nice, thanks. Yeah, that's that's a proper reward for that, let me tell you. So it took a tilt between the wardens of light and dark to finally drive the royalists from our shores. Pity it came at such a price. They say the fields of villainous were black a full fortnight with all the ravens. Damn. Uh no reason to walk back. Exploration doesn't really do anything for us anyways. Oh, we can put markers down. Just one marker? Still. That's neat, I guess. Didn't realize that was an option. How do we get to the world map? This button. No new quests anywhere else? Nope. Home we go. Back to the story shit. Well, I guess we got to talk to what's his name first. Glenn. Familiar. Got your stuff, my guy, including Sid's letter. Just, oh. well, there you are. I just got back to the hideaway, and thankfully Otto hasn't seen me yet. I, I don't suppose you um... found the things you dropped. I did. I was so sure they'd be gone. The letter? Only a little worse for wear. Really don't understand the point of the little menu. I felt the same way in Final Fantasy XIV. Oh, <laughs> like, about in the shadows for me, when you're then? handing in a quest that requires you to give oh, items you. that you collected, why you not just take them from your inventory, man? Why have a letter. little confirmation screen where you pick what to give? <laughs> Seems like a needless extra Holy. step. It's from his daughter. She's off studying in Canver, and her letters are all that keeps Sid sane while she's away. He never mentioned a daughter. Oh, Interesting. And thanks to you, he won't be wasting his time smiting careless couriers with leaven boats. So I'd say you did us both a service. Here, for your troubles. If there's anything you're wanting from Sid, today's the day. He'll be sweet as honey once he gets his hands on this. So Sid's got a daughter, huh? I mean, I know we're not exactly besties or anything, but I'm surprised that's never come up. What would Sid name his daughter? Sydney? <laughs> Cinderella? I don't fucking know. Those are the ones that come to mind. And I hope it's not either one. God, I hope it's not. <laughs> so what God's forsaking corner oh. of the realm is Sid dragging you off to this time? Oriflam. Sid Norella. Yes. <laughs> oh wait, was this not who we were supposed to talk to for the quest? Uh, might as well. Not find a better price than that. Actually, I might as well not here. have. Refilling potions Loving is pointless. Mind, you know. Speaking of Oriflam, 
Are you the trading route leading south have seen more than double the usual traffic? If you ask me, some at Fowl's Brewing. And a tin tie is Borbile Tea. Borbile Tea? <sighs> Just go and see Otto, will ya? Why, nice. dude? That sounds absolutely disgusting. I like me some tea, but Borbile? Huh. That's why I turned in our new knowledge. Again, I have no idea if it actually does anything for us, but like, I like watching numbers go up. Let's go! Level three! The fascinating excerpt I've been meaning to show you. Continental Accord, the founder. Uh, I don't care that much. There's the Tomb of the Bears. Oh. Okay. What subject shall we consider today? Nope, that's all I wanted. Just wanted to see the numbers. So you really got More Boba. Since we've been talking about bringing down a mother crystal, since I've known him, that's all it's ever been. Talk. He's convinced it's the right thing to do. We'll be leaving for the capital shortly. <sighs> well, you couldn't have picked a better moment. Seems the eye in the Royalists gave him more than enough to dampen old Sylvester's spirits. His legions are on the march again, this time due south. Another war. All as the great Grieger wills it. Bloodthirsty little miss, that one. Well, that's God's for you, isn't it? Still, might work to our advantage on this occasion. Wars breed chaos. On the front lines, and at home. With a fair wind behind them, a handful of like-minded ne'er-do-wells could melt into the back alleys of Oriflam. Mm. No trouble. Is making it to the capital that's the problem. The checkpoint. That's right. Anyone traveling in or out of Oriflam has to go through Northreach. Lucky for you, I might just know of a way. Can't like yes. well, no, go around? That, <laughs> that gets you an audience with the Dane. And it's the Dane who will see you safely through Northreach. I'll send the Stolas in the morning. Let her know you're coming. We go way back. This is a true friend of the cause. I'm sure you'll get on like a house on fire. That's good of you, but who is this dame, and where will I find her? She's the proud proprietress of Northreach's foremost house of ill repute, the Vale. And she's quite a woman, if you know what I mean. A woman. Right. <laughs> Don't go blinding her with your charm now, lad. I'll be expecting a full report when you get back. So he means brothel, right? <laughs> We're going to a brothel? I'm pretty sure that's what he's talking about. <laughs> Alliant reports? What's that? Alliant reports are now available for viewing by speaking to Gout at the Alliant report counter in the Hideaway's Mess. These reports compiled by the Curse Breakers contain information on quests currently available across Valistia. Okay. Okay. Not to find out. So, what? <laughs> oh, Is this like lad, a way of finding quests we don't God know about or just getting information well, about them? Anyway. So wouldn't we find all the information we need by just like doing them? Through the reports sent in by our allies and picking out any problems that might warrant the attention of the curse breakers or any other willing volunteers. And there's no shortage of problems, I can tell you. It's pointless. <laughs> Seems like a lot of things in this game. <laughs> I harp on it a lot, but it's only because I like it so much. Look over the list. Just say the word. Reckon you could probably tick off the odd thing here and there. They say little acts of kindness are their own reward. But if that ain't enough, these have got proper bounties on them and all. I mean, I still want to view them. I want to know what Anything it is. 
Use God's Alliant reports to not only find new quests around Valisthea, but also travel immediately to the obelisk waypoint nearest the location. Dying on the vine. Welcoming committees. Yeah, so it really is. It's just more of like those quests we've been doing sort of thing. Yeah. I mean, I'm going to end up doing them though. Like, <laughs> that's the thing. Like, I'm going to do them because they're quests, man. They got to be done. You do like the game, but it's got some strong 7.9 vibes. Yeah, see, like, if the story and combat and uh, those two, I usually do like a five point sort of thing. I would say five out of five, man. If that's all the game was, was story and combat. But the problem is, is that the actual gameplay outside of that, like the exploration and uh, the questing and the crafting, the actual RPG mechanics of the game are a strong three, a strong average. So the two together, for me, it's sitting at like a four out of five, sadly. But every time, dude, that the story gets hype and you get into those big ass battles, I just get back into that mood of like, damn, this game's great, you know? Yeah, yeah. Which is kind of more or less what I expected, um, given that it was made by a MMO team, right? <laughs> the Final Fantasy XIV team. Um, so I'm not particularly surprised on the, the questing not being the best. What I am surprised by is the lack of exploration and like creature drops and stuff like that though. Like interesting creature drops and things. Cause that's sort, that's the sort of stuff that MMOs usually do well, you know, just having large areas to explore and find little things and whatnot. I mean, I guess. You don't normally find, like, cool loot in a box or, like, as a pickup or whatever. I guess that part's true. But you still usually find interesting locations to explore and uh, some some interesting drops from enemies, right? But I don't know. That's why I'm saying I'm looking more forward to Final Fantasy 17 than I think anything else right now. Because I'm hoping they just take what they learned from this game and improve on all so the problems. Because if they leave the combat exactly the same, I would be fine with that. So if they have a they don't punish people like similarly framed people like story, I would be fine with that. Truly. I just hope they expand on the the oh RPG my. mechanics of the my game. Too. We're starving. Wait here. I'll fetch you something from the tavern. <gasps> Thank you. I won't be long. You stay here and rest. Yeah, I'm not going to say I'm like loaded or anything, but I'm kind of loaded, man. <laughs> well, I mean, I say that. I guess I don't actually know how much a meal costs in this world, but... Yeah, dude, <laughs> to this day, my biggest complaint about Final Fantasy 15 is still that they didn't just leave it a basically a Kingdom Hearts spinoff. Like, <laughs> I liked 15. But the combat for me ended up being a letdown. I'll have two plates of whatever you're serving. Sorry. We've enough mouths of our own to feed without tending to the wants of outsiders. It's not for me. It's for some new arrivals. Oh, my apologies. I didn't see the mark. So you're a comrade. Well, in that case, you may have whatever you require. Take all the bread and wine you want. That's really all it yes. takes. Yes. Yes, it was. One look at the innkeeper's mind. When it looked at the, uh, <laughs> when it looked like a Kingdom Hearts spinoff, <laughs> like. <laughs> as do we all. And Master Quinton commands that none of his favored guests be left wanting. Well, don't keep our new comrades waiting. Take what you need and see that they eat their fill. I think it's two things, personally. I, I don't know this to be true. But I think one, oh, it's, right. you know, Tetsuya Nomura. Hopefully this will be enough being pulled in other directions for Final Fantasy 15, right? I think that was probably a big part of it. And two, Square for a long time has been trying to make Final Fantasy more cinematic, right? It's been very clear that that has been their direction ever since at least Final Fantasy 13, making the fights more 
awe-inspiring watching them happen. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> it, it kind of, it, it, I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't think the Kingdom Hearts combat system really is a flashy combat system, but I think it's a really well done combat system. Yeah. Bread and wine from the tavern. Oh, dude, I've been... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Versus 13 looked so fucking good. And uh, what they delivered was... I mean, again, I would say probably like a 4 out of 5. <laughs> you know? <laughs> like, it started as a 5 out of 5 looking thing, and then, whoop, <laughs> right on back. Such plenty. Never in all my days. Brother, this place is like a dream. We sat and no one shouted. We ate and more was offered. I know. I can't believe it. You're free now. And the next time you're hungry, you need only ask to be fed. Thank you for everything. Or, you know, just come to the hideaway, dude. <laughs> like, bruh. And <laughs> we get a gill bug. I mean, okay, can't expect much from two random bears, but still. I feel like we could have got a better reward for that. 16 has effectively all we knew about versus Incorporated, just more serves. <laughs> yeah, I mean, as far as, like, all the political intrigue stuff goes, yeah, I'll give you that. But I think, for me, part of it is just I like what Tetsuya Nomura does. I think is a big part of it. Right? Like, I really like Seven. I really like Kingdom Hearts. I really liked Versus 13 when he was leading that. Final Fantasy Seven Remake, even though the combat system isn't my favorite, I still think is pretty good for what it is. Like, I think I'm just kind of a fanboy of Nomura. <laughs> I, I, I want no trouble. Wait, wait, that's... Oh... Glory to Grieger. You were the hanged man. I took you for a rogue. If you're I do look a little bit like a villain, not gonna lie. You'll help me. His vineyard, Lost Wing's pride and joy, has been beset by a plague of giant wasps. And you need someone to solve your pest problem. I do indeed. I've never seen them so far from the forest, nor so mean for that matter. I suppose the smell's gotten worked up. And little wonder. The There's one thing I will say about the quest in this game it first, is it really does help convey the itself, sense of Clive like trying me. to work for I redemption, you know? For soon, working towards to forgiving himself for and you opening like his, his heart to others to again after everything, everything that happened when he was younger. That is the one thing I will say about all these little side missions that really feel kind of pointless like just walking over to the bar to grab those two bears some food when they very easily could have done that themselves you know like <laughs> it just puts clive in a good light it's actually like okay nothing else is actually down here down here where are we going Back to there. But that does confirm that uh, the... Whatever, that dude that we talked to... Was just a way to, to find missions that aren't in the hideaway. Which I presume we could have done just by looking at the map anyways. It's just a more convenient way... To, to find and be teleported to them. Which is fine. Seems a little redundant. Probably could have spent those resources somewhere else, but... Not worth being mad at, either. That must be the vineyard. A few wasps shouldn't give me too much trouble.
Bracked Wasps. I don't think I can really, uh, do that lunging attack at them here, though. <laughs> See, this is exactly what I like that the heat flame, whatever the fuck the, the Phoenix ability was that I had equipped. Oh, wait, are there more of them? Oh, there is. Anyways, uh, killing small groups like this, it was just a great AoE. Oh, goodness, dude. Keep your distance, boy. Don't let them get away. That's enough. Sometimes I feel like the spoil screen Looks isn't like quite necessary. I better let Quentin's man know. Like, bro, all he did was kill what, ten wasps? <laughs> Is that really worth all the the fanfare there? Probably not. Could have just brought out some pesticide, gave him a little squirt, spray him down a little bit, and got the same effect. I don't understand this, right? Like the two obelisks so close to each other there. I don't understand that, man. <laughs> Why do we need a fast travel point? It would probably take... Well, I guess loading times are pretty quick in the game, but like I feel like it would take longer to open the map, find the obelisk, click on it, wait the second or two that it would take for the game to load than to just run that very short distance. I guess if you're coming from the world map, it could be handy, but. Those wasps won't be interfering with your harvest anymore. Oh, thank you. Master Quinton would have had my head if I'd lost the crop. I'd say you've earned a reward. Our Gotam Druge fetches a handsome price among the rich and powerful of the realm. We use that money to keep our comrades fed and Imperial Wolves from our door. The vineyards were Master Quinton's idea. He wanted to give bearers a place to work. <laughs> I know, that's what I'm waiting I swear for. They'd be safe. <clears throat> that or more gill that I don't need. He certainly seems to have done that here. I'm glad I could help. I'll see that he hears of your kindness. And once this vintage is ripe for drinking, there'll be a glass or two raised in your honor. <laughs> So the hideaway keeps talking about having money problems. Can I just donate all of my earnings to them? Ah, uh, ten try black blood, dude. Mm. Can be traded for gill. Oh wait, is that really all it's good for? <laughs> it's just okay. Well, uh, what is this? Read the mysteries of vinification. While some winemakers will remove the skins of the grape after pressing, leaving both skin and seeds in the juice to commingle, creates a must that is better suited for extended aging, ultimately resulting in a more refined wine. Then, once the wine calms and settles sufficiently, the skins are removed, and the must is then transferred to wooden barrels of oak or chestnut, which, by allowing air to leach into the wine, imparts deepened levels of complexity, introducing rich aromas and improving texture, all while lessening bitterness. I'm glad we got a <laughs> short... Uh, whatchamacallit there, a short lesson on winemaking. Isn't there a way to, yeah, local map. While the cat's away. Oh, he's freezing fish. I was like, bruh, isn't there a well over here? Why are you wasting your crystal for water? I've seen your face before. You're a friend of Martha's. Help us, I beg you. Help you with what? Bandits in the Golden Stables. They're waving their swords around. I think they're going to kill someone. 
when I saw what was happening, I slipped out the back. I should have stayed, but oh, please help them. Man, it's a good thing I came straight here and definitely didn't, like, screw around in Lost Wing for a while before coming here. Those bandits really could have done a number on some people. I was out of the door too fast to count. They looked a nasty bunch, though. Be careful in there, all right? It's more of a Western RPG thing, but I've always kind of thought it was weird how, like, you know, there's this very important thing that needs taken care of right now, or people are going to die. But I can just turn, go fuck around for 20 hours, remember about this, come back, and these same bandits are going to be here not doing a damn thing. Like, it's not a Kojima game yet. Golden stables my ass. All Martha's hiding back here is coppers. Oh, that's a fine sword, friend. Heavy, though, I expect. What say we relieve you? I think they could only channel so much Kojima in the making of this game, or they would have had to start giving him royalties. Damn. That is good, man. And it, like, collects up people, it seems like, and pulls them along with you. For the AoE, not bad. It does it refresh quickly the ignition I'll be keeping my blade because if it does I'm thinking that one in the fire tornado fire is. tornado for the AOE the and then ignition for just damage output around again thanks to you we're lucky you were nearby no good cowards wouldn't have dared set foot in the place if I'd been here of course but you weren't I thought you told me you had someone watching the place the blood axes keep an eye in the tavern yeah when they're not busy keeping the peace, that is. I've spread them as thin as they'll go. The Empire might be in charge, but that don't mean they care to keep us safe. If it weren't for the Blood Axes and me, merchants won't come near these lands for fear of what might happen to them. I see. Then you do Rosaria a great service. Just as you did today. You're a useful man to have around. Here. Right, so we literally have the power of three and gods in our employ at the moment, right? Because there's us, of course. Presentable. Then we have Jill with going. Shiva. And we have Sid with Ramu. Why don't we just fucking storm Rosaria and take the castle back? <laughs> like, put ourselves back in charge, man. <laughs> I guess it would probably bring unwanted attention, but like... That would solve a lot of these smaller people's problems. Well, I guess until the Empire, or whoever's currently in control, came and was like, yeah, we'll just kill everybody as a punishment for <laughs> you making their lives better. Oh, there's all these other places, but I don't think we can get to any of them yet. I didn't notice them on the map before. I guess we have to go through here, the inaccessible part. I wonder where this leads. Because the map doesn't go much farther this way. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Well, whatever. That's for later. Okay. Uh, Back to Hideaway for continuing the story that we barely started. <laughs> I've had this video on my playlist of stuff on YouTube to watch for like ever now. It's Can You Beat the Entire Metal Gear series... Or it's probably just the Metal Gear anthology. But anyways, can you beat all of the games in whatever group of Metal Gear games before the, uh, what's his name? The dude that dies in three, if you don't fight him fast enough. The end? Is that his name? The end. Yeah, okay. The end. Before the end dies. Like, I've been meaning to watch it for a while, but it's like a four-hour video or something. I just haven't had the time to, to watch that. Well someone's in a hurry just following orders funny i never took you for the type <laughs> that's true that yeah, no, but... you, yeah. <laughs> I... the one that dies of aging <laughs> if you let him die of old age does he still explode Fine day for a little mischief, you say? that's one thing we Is didn't try actually gav won't be coming just the three of us, then. Drake said is the keystone of the Empire. 
Oriflam's in chaos, yes, but that doesn't mean we can march an army through her gates. The fewer our numbers, the better our chances of going unnoticed. We're not going to be unnoticed. And should that plan fail, well, we have our icons to fall back on. See that. I don't know if I can. The freed still seems to come and go as he pleases. Ordinarily, priming an icon comes naturally to a dominance. But then you are no ordinary dominance. I mean, you can half prime. That's he good still enough, got right? The of the Phoenix, doesn't he? Not to mention what he sucked out the Garuda. And He's a deadbeat icon. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I reckon he could probably cause a path out of the capital on his own if need be. Let's try not to find out. We're less likely to be spotted if we travel separately. I'll meet you in Northridge in a few days. Sid, I've seen you almost die a few times now. I don't know if that's the best idea. I feel like we should just stick together. Again, who is going to fight off three dominants on their own? <laughs> Honestly, even if it's just two and us as a half dominant, who's going to fight us off, man? It would take an army with more dominance. <laughs> yeah, yes. So, yes, he does. Meeting in Northridge. And will I find Sid and Joe? Dane find me. Why to have us come here? Instead of just you know, here. Yeah, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna travel to here. <laughs> like I don't see the point in running all that way. Shit, it's still 400 and some yards. Oh, it's this place. Okay, yeah. I remember being here. This is where it really started to set in how pointless exploration was. Who are we? Oh, hi. Oh, shoot. I forgot to change my things. It's a good chance to check, though. How quickly that recharges. Quickly. Okay. Yeah. I am going to change this. Why can't we change that from the other screen? Anyways, I'm going to change that to ignition. And then this one to Scarlet Cyclone. There we go. I think that'll do us pretty well. That sun is very bright. There's no point for that to be so bright. Vultures, how fancy. The soldiers used to speak of a good. But that was north of the checkpoint. I heard the joke about I wish we could steal you and ride you, but no, I can only murder you. <laughs> Oh, here's some carriages and shit, though. Cool little tent town. What did you say was in these pies again? Welcome, good. Uh, back off, friendy. Can't you see I'm in a castle? Fresh fish, all from the sea of Bryce. <laughs> I love how pissed off people get whenever they see I'm a branded. With reds, whites, ales, meads. I do wonder if their opinion would change at all if they knew we were 
once royalty before becoming branded. Or if it wouldn't change their opinions at all. You want something, you come back with your master. I won't sell to something. Welcome, welcome. Something new? Ah, clamshells. Of course. I'll be here if you need me. Searching for the dame. I'm assuming it's the one with the quest marker over her head. A moment, my lady. A moment. <laughs> I doubt you could afford even that much of my time. Branded. My mistake. No, mine. Upon reflection, you don't have the scent of a branded about you. The flowers. Otto always did know how to please me. More than Sid ever did anyway. Do you think you could please me, Clive? You Sorry, I kind of got a thing with Jill at the moment. Uh... <laughs> Let us leave such. Impersonal titles to my less preferred clientele. You can call me Isabel. Otto assured me I could trust you. I can trust you, can't I? You can trust Extra me, yes, but why would you help you? Because that's what we do. Long ago, Sid did me a kindness when no one else would. I have never forgotten that. Without it, I would not be where I am today. And so, I make it a point to do the same whenever possible. Which brings us here. To the final obstacle between you and whatever it is you seek in the holy capital. I fear the guards are not likely to let a masterless bearer pass unmolested, unless... I would like to stay unmolested if possible, unless. please. <laughs> <laughs> unless, of course, his master deign to appear. Yeah. That will do nicely. But it's never confirmed what's in the box. So it's conveniently I head size. Oh, God. I don't think Sid would Wait, send her head, what? though. You know what I mean? Because Sid and her had a thing, and, like, he even seemed sad whenever she died. I think it was probably her pendant, but, like, wrapped up or something. I mean, it was a bit of a large box for a pendant, but, like... I just can't see Sid sending her head, man. <laughs> I mean, maybe. Maybe the dude's a little more cold than I gave him credit for, but... I, it seems like a bit much to me. That's true. I guess Sid didn't take her body. In fact, I don't think Sid even found her body, huh? He just found the, uh... The pendant, right? Sorry, I don't know why I'm exploring. I just can't help myself. <laughs> I feel the need to. I mean, I, I got to at least uncover the map over here, right? I'm like 99% sure this is going to be a completely pointless excursion, but I can't help but wonder what's over here. I really wish you could sprint on command. Okay, well, there's some creatures. Oh, what? I put the wrong damn one in there, dude. That wasn't the fire cyclone thing. Where's the other dragon at? Oh, good dog, dude. Okay, fix that, because I'm going to forget. This one. Not Scarlet Cyclone. Heat Wave? No, Flames of Rebirth. That's it. That's the one I wanted. 
I don't like is that this game brought back wagon barricades. Look, it's completely impossible to get over a row of wagons, man. Row of wagon, some short fences, bars that could easily be squeezed through. These things are all unpassable, and that's just a law. I do really like what they did with the, the forested areas of the game, though. Like, it looks really good. I. It's more like the overall foliage and things, though, that I think just look really good. The game itself, honestly, I don't think is a huge improvement over 15. Like, a slight... I mean, maybe it's just been too long since I've played... 15 properly I guess that's a possibility but like texture quality is a little bit higher lighting quality is a little bit higher sure oh really we can't walk down this creek that looks like an excellent place to hide some stuff anyways point is but the the density and quality of the the foliage I think is really really good in comparison Oh, I see. I didn't realize that blockade was open now. So this is just a shortcut from Lost Wing to, to here. I see. I see. So what's that other path that's blocked off here or black blacked out right there? Didn't get close enough to see what it is, but there's a big bug for you under a bowl in the bathroom. Oh, my God. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, love. I'll save that for a snack later. <laughs> Yum. <laughs> I keep trying to convince Noodle to try uh, cricket flour whenever I, I find cricket flour. Oh, you didn't say big? My bad. It's not big. Well, excuse me. This thing has some health. Don't be exaggerating my words. I'm so sorry, princess. I don't know what I was thinking. Bro, that does a lot of hits quick, too, which is probably nice for getting the multiplier up. Because, like, gouge does a lot of hits, but it's kind of slow, honestly. Oddly enough, though, it doesn't seem to make the number go up that quickly. The multiplier, actually, like... Better for initiating stagger, you think? Really? I mean, each hit... Oh, shit. Each hit does do less than, like, a normal sword hit. But it just hits them so quickly. I don't know, man. I mean, you've got a lot more hours in the game than I do. I'm sure you're right, but... Oh, gouge. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's what my goal usually is, is to get them to, like, the half stagger point. And then once they're to the half stagger, use gouge to try and get them to the full stagger as quickly as possible. Griffin's head braid. Is that, like, actual equipment? Did we actually find something in the world? Oh, the tornado. Interesting. Okay. I haven't tried that one for it yet. Uh, Griffin's head braid. Increase burning blade damage by 7%. Hmm. <laughs> nah, probably not going to use it. <laughs> I just... All of these specialized pieces of equipment, I just don't think are that useful, but... Is that what the second number is? 
I was wondering, the first one obviously is like melee or whatever, but I didn't realize, wait, what? Whirlwind? Flames of Rebirth or Aerial Blast? Which one are you talking about? The wind move, so Aerial Blast. Yeah, I have it equipped. No, uh, I was talking about, I don't think I'm going to use it to this. Uh, da -da -da -da, these specialized things. Like the Will of Wind, the Will of Fire, the Favor of Fire. Those are the ones I was talking about. I don't think I'm going to use. Because they're it's just something about like the highly specialized equipment. I mean, I'm not a huge fan of. I like the more general ones. But yeah, anyways, as far as like that goes, I didn't realize that the second one was a stagger rating. Right? Like the sword icon obviously is, is some sort of whether it's damage or... DPS or something. Um, I didn't realize the second one was a stagger rating. That's pretty cool. So both of them have high stagger ratings. Is that just true for wind in general? Like, does Wicked Wheel? Relatively high with three. Some of the uh, fire ones only have like one or two. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Which way am I going this way? I mean, it's going to be trash, but yeah, <laughs> single potion. I got to pick it up, though. It's right there. A raptor? Hi. I was half expecting us to get completely stuck on that log. <laughs> Can you charge a fireball? You can while attacking. Man, you gotta hold the controller really weird for that, but. Hmm. Okay. I wonder if one of the other control schemes would make things like that easier. Like charging your Fira while dealing with enemies. If the raptor wants to run, the raptor can run. That's fine. This area is more or less empty. Is there a chest over here, maybe? So there's not even, like, a big enemy or anything. I do... Oh, now I want to see if we charge Fira. Oh, is the dog going to kill it first? The Frink of Timely Assistance? No, I haven't tried that one yet. Ah, oh, he died too quick. Because, like, how you can do the magic burst by attacking and then instantly doing that. I wonder if you can make that work with Fira. Maybe. Hmm. Again, you have to hold the controller in a really weird way, but... I'll try out the timely assistant assistance one. Oh, yeah, that was a trash chest. Which one do I not care about? Uh, at this point, attack by 7 isn't that big of a deal, or attack's 244. So... Oh, bruh. Yeah, obviously it's stagger. It uses the same symbol right there. Anyways, so I'm going to switch the badge of might one, I think, with timely assistance. Oh, you also sacrifice strength? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I feel like my damage output isn't terrible. Um, and it's already pretty high. But I have come close to dying a couple times. Did die that one time, so... To me, it just makes the most sense to sacrifice. 
Plus, it's only a boost of seven. Like, a single upgrade on a weapon gets you, like, five to fifteen or something along those lines. I'm curious. We've never fast-traveled in the same area that I can think of. Well, no, I guess we just did whenever we came here. I didn't realize it was the same area, though. Yeah, that's a bit more loading time than I thought. Alright, Isabel. What the hell are you doing? Tut tut. We cannot have people thinking I tolerate disobedience from my branded. The men who gave me this are no more my masters than you are. But it's not as if I can hide it. From the just chill, dude. Quiet, that brand <laughs> has done naught but take. But today, it is going to give you exactly what you want. Just play along. It's not like she's literally claiming you as her own, man. She's obviously trying to help you here. Back to the vine already. But of course, we must make ready to welcome you, my dear. And who might this be? Why, my new escort. The streets aren't safe for a girl, what with all the royalists about. <laughs> well, don't work him too hard. Well, that rather depends on you now, doesn't it? I'll see you all at sunset. Oi, hold up. <sighs> Another fucking branded. Oh, you're lucky you're with the dame. Now get out of my sight, filth. I will never understand this idea of looking down up on people just because they have special abilities that you don't. Like, they can literally harness bad. magic. You can't do shit. <laughs> like, so they bruh. Me. But they didn't. And even if they had, they wouldn't have done anything about it. The gentlemen of the garrison are some of my best customers. We have an arrangement, as do you and I. Now, if you'd care to follow me, we can speak more at the Vale. Doesn't seem like I have much of a choice. Interesting training grounds, dragon's armor. Hmm. I haven't seen you around the bay of late. Oh, don't tell me you've grown tired of that. And if anyone requests her company, tell them she is feeling unwell. Madame. You look stunning. As do you, my dear. Shall I have one of the girls draw a bath? That won't be necessary. Ah, she has one of her own fancy owl things. Clive, my darling. Welcome to the Vale. Okay. It just looks like another building from out here. I'm not super impressed at the moment. I've got to be honest. Thank you for seeing me through the gates, my lady. I am in your debt. Well, that was the whole point, wasn't it? And I told you, it's Isabel. Whatever wound you so tight, I wonder... It's certainly not Sid's influence. You, uh, mentioned a favor. What is it you'd have me do? I don't want to keep my companions waiting. If you mean Sid and the girl, you needn't worry. They have yet to reach the checkpoint. Yes, Otto asked me to help them as well. But to answer your question, I need you to find someone for me. One of my girls. We can do Tatien that. Tatien has been gone for several days now, having left no word of explanation. And I've begun to fear the worst. I feel as if I've spent my whole life searching for people. 
Though I can't say I'm any good at it. I trust you'll do your best. Oh, and take this. Proof of that trust. And hopefully enough to keep prying eyes. Everybody, man, everybody's got one of them. <laughs> some face of yours. Now, I have matters to attend to at the Iron Flagon. If you find anything, ask for me there. I should probably start here. You wear the dame's brooch. She must trust you. Enough to help me look for one of your colleagues. A woman by the name of Tatien. She's still missing then. Oh, if only I'd comforted her. You saw her before she disappeared? The day before. She was in tears. She'd lost mm. her comb. A gift from the dame. It wasn't anything fancy, but you could tell it meant the world to her. You see, Tatien was an orphan. And she looked upon the dame as a mother. As do we all. So she was upset. And I didn't lend her much older. But perhaps someone else did. Tatian shared a room. Her chambermaid may have seen something. She's over there, sitting by the pond. Thank you. Yeah, that one so mechanic there is a bit overused, that. man. Getting the, the brooches or necklaces or pins or whatever everywhere you go so people will actually talk to you. So you're I, the new escort the girls have been talking about. That Boy Scout comment, comment makes more and more way. sense the further we go. <laughs> You'll be knackered before the real work begins later on tonight. I'm told you share a bedchamber with Tatien. Did she say anything to you before? Before she went missing. Only that she needed to meet with someone. She did mention a name, but I know exactly who she meant. You do? Lad from the garrison. Annoying little shit. Spent every gill he earned on Tatien and picked fights with anyone else who tried to buy her time. Mm. Followed her around like a Somebody's lost a little obsessed, eh? Tatien was flattered at first, but it didn't take long for her to get scared. She thought about saying something. But the dame was so proud of her for how much she was bringing in. And she didn't want to let her down. This man from the garrison. Did you ever see him? Of course I did. He tried to sneak into our room enough times. Slimy sod's got a scar over one eye. Claims he got it in battle. You've been very helpful. Don't let him get away with this. Find him, and you'll find her. The man from the garrison. Seems a trip to the barracks is in order. Ah, okay. And we got side quests, probably because we got the, the oh, thing. I suppose you'll need a little something. The brooch from the dame. Excuse me. Ooh, that's pretty. Hold on. I'll come talk to you in just a moment. I want to get a view. Is that... Is that the crystal, or is that just a mountain? <laughs> nice. Hmm. Okay. It looked pretty. I had to take a look. That's all. All right, now, sir, Mr. Merchant. I cannot help but notice you bear the moon and stars. So you are an associate of the dames? Might I trouble you for some assistance? You'll be rewarded, of course. And who exactly would I be assisting? Oh, forgive me. I am Etienne. A humble merchant, though fortunate enough to count the dame among my acquaintances. Get to the point. We have business beyond these walls, but the guards have grown somewhat suspicious of my comings and goings of late. I was hoping someone might be kind enough to go in my stead. And who better than someone in the employ of the Vale's proprietress? Would you be willing to help a fellow in his hour of need? I'm pretty sure whatever you got going on with the guards. Why not? I got more. <laughs> the task is simple think, enough. I'm the last the person that should be walking past the guards constantly, looking suspicious. Valued clients. There are three in total. 
a grocer, an apothecary, and a distiller. You need only mention that the items you carry are fresh from the master's table. Nothing dangerous, I hope. Why, of course not. Uh, merely trifles, which folk beyond the checkpoint are keen to They're drugs, aren't they? <laughs> and Pretty no, sure I'm running drugs for this guy. I advise that you don't. Strongly Damn it, advise. dude. Okay, sure. I'll be your drug runner. Why not? <laughs> Three heavy purses at that. The other two seem to be in this, this side of the game. in the barracks here. The Imperial Training Grounds, eh? Ooh, can we exit from here? We can. I'm not going to. I'm Sergeant sure we will later. Where's your commanding officer branded? Don't you know the training grounds are for real soldiers? Hey, you lost or something? Sorry, but the Imperial Guard's got no use for your kind. The inventory always needs more bodies, though. I'm just passing through. You would expect a one in deserter to mule drugs for fetch quests. <laughs> sure, sure, I guess. But I also feel like we're more likely to be searched just for the hell of it, though, man. <laughs> I dare say there's ways of finding out. How about it, Branded? Care to show us how you earn that brooch? I'd rather not. Oh, no doubt. Only chivalrous souls that we are. Robin and I need to know the dame's being proper. Bro, I'm 100% willing to kick these guys' asses. <sighs> Fine. If it'll put your mind at ease. Oh, and just so you know, I won't be holding back. I suggest you don't either. Take a moment to get ready if you need it. Wouldn't want you whining about an unfair fight. Would it be rude to half prime on them and just... That wouldn't raise any suspicion, right? I'm sure it'll be fine. Now, let's get the measure of you, shall we? If that's what you want. <laughs> Cocky bastard. All right. Let's be having you. Dude don't know what he's getting into. Sees the brand on my face, automatically thinks of me as lesser. Oh, and when you go crying your mistress... Bro, did they rip that out of Final Fantasy XV? <laughs> the, the weird crystal-y thing in the background there. <laughs> He's not even considered like a hard enemy, dude. This is just rude. <laughs> Fuck me. What the hell are you playing at, Leon? Huh. So it's a real challenge he wants, is it? Fine. How oh, do we get to fight Robin now? Leon wasn't Sorry enough. Up, Let's have some fun, shall we? Let a beer up. Win the day's fate, won't it? I know he wants to hold my tongue for a start. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, potential. <laughs> You're literally locked in a tornado right now, dude. <laughs> I think I got a little more than potential. <laughs> God, <laughs> what was the point of that? That was a side quest just for the sake of side quest, man. <laughs> like, obviously we can beat the shit out of two random guards. Can I go now? Gregor's gash. The bastard didn't even break a sweat. The dame's man or no, he's still a branded. Best hope the sergeant never hears about this. Yeah, not after the bullocking he gave us for missing drills. Might be the old sod at a point. 
I'll leave you to it. Yeah, good bloody riddance. <sighs> At least we know the dames in safe hands, I suppose. Do us a favor. If you have to tell the dame about this, tell her we got a good few hits in, eh? Oh my god. Comedic relief. That's what that quest was for. I, I get it now. I understand. <laughs> Let me back talk to you in just a moment, sir. I, I don't know how a bearer came by the moon and stars, but thank goodness I found you. Can I trust you to be discreet? About what? About this. About what I wish to ask of you. About the fact that I, a humble creature, assist the Dame of the Vale in her endeavors. As unlikely as it may seem, there are those within the upper echelons of Sambraquois society who find the Empire's treatment of bearers to be barbaric. All right. But what do you want from me? This town is I feel like you could have your tongue cut out just for yes. saying that. And yet many would see their servants starve. Not for the want of coin. Simple fare costs little more than a pittance. But to revel in the suffering of others. A simple act of cruelty. Contemptible though it is, my countrymen would sooner cut off their noses to spite their faces than see their bearers fed. And despite my best attempts at secrecy, my efforts to dole out comestibles have been noticed. Which brings me to my request. The brand upon your cheek affords you a certain freedom. A freedom I could sorely use. The freedom does being a slave give me? Do tell. Fine. Oh, to give what other slaves things, I'm guessing? Thank you. An extra meal may not seem like much. But it will make all the difference. Here, deliver these, mm -hmm. but keep mm -hmm. them hidden. Quickly now. <laughs> it's just more drugs, actually. <laughs> the bears will work double time if we give them waste. coke. <laughs> and today, that happens to be the barracks. Three bearers, overworked and underfed. Not permitted a moment's rest. It's no wonder so many die before their time. Tragic, true, but do not let anger make you careless. People will view this act of mercy as an undermining of the Empire's authority. Be discreet for both our sakes, and for the sake of those we feed. Oh, and when you're finished, a word in the ear of one of the dame's girls would be appreciated. You won't be staying, then? I'm afraid not. I am expected back in the capital, and have already risked much speaking with you this long. Okay. Crystal's curse is bad enough. The people just Can't around here, you said? Well. That should be easy enough to do quickly, right? Maybe. Where there's too many things on the screen. Okay, here's one. I have something for you. From the Chamberlain. Thank you. You need to leave. Now. Please. Branded! Who told you to rest? Stow those damn flames! And you! If you've got a message for me, out with it. If not, return to your post. Where I totally thought he was going to start fighting him. I noticed, though, that lady's foot and one arm is turning to stone, man. Like, they really don't have any sympathy at all, do they? Same with this guy. I can see it on his foot already. Are you waiting for it to heal on its own? Hurry up! Looks like now's not the time. I mean, I could just go put the dude out of his misery. <laughs> then we could easily give some food to the bear. 
Really, dude? Really? You have people conjuring wind to dry the shit quicker? <laughs> oh my god, dude. You look like you need a rest. Stoking the flames I can get, but holy shit. Water? Life sustaining. Again, understandable. Oh, as much as I need this. But conjuring Thank wind you. to dry the linens. I don't eat it here, though. Not where anyone might see. Has it always been this bad? Oh, it was worse before the Chamberlain. I'd be dead without him. Me and many others. That's something at least. Is he done with the... Done with the dude? No. Get away from me! Dad, you'll work faster next time if you know what's good for you! Here. It looks like you need it. The Chamberlain must have sent you. But alas, my work is far from over. If I don't go now, they'll beat me. You need to rest. But I won't. I have wounds to heal and bones to mend. And what of your own hurts? They'll wait. As will my hunger. Thank you, though. Where that dude sounds straight upset. <laughs> like, that guy got the memo. Drover has more regard for his cattle than the Empire does its bearers. Anyway, I better head to the Vale. I'll do it in a moment, Chill. I've heard the bones fell favorably. To the Vale, then, is it? I'm looking for a man with a scar over his eye. Looking for a man? Does this look like a brothel branded? Fuck off! Hold your tongue. And where's the dame's brooch? One word from him and the Vale's doors will be barred to us for good. <sighs> There's only one man in the garrison with a dodgy eye. His name's Yannick. I haven't seen him around lately, though. On account of him being in war, yeah, Yannick left a few days back. Said he had dealings with a merchant there. The dame thanks you. Moor is the last village on the road to Oriflam. I should let Isabel know where I'm headed. Did maybe is it possible they just decided to run off together? I'm trying not to think the worst of him here, but oh, she's closer than expected. Hello, Clive. Tell me you bear good tidings. That remains to be seen. Oh, Tatian, you could have told me. This Yannick. The soldiers I spoke to believe he's in the village of Moor. According to them, he claimed to have some business with a merchant there. Though that wouldn't explain his continued absence. And you plan on traveling to Moor to ascertain the truth? Isn't that what you want? Oh, it, it is. But I fear sending you there may cause more harm than good. The people of Moor are rather set in their ways. You'll find they have little love for bearers, and they will not hesitate to report one such as you to the constabulary. There is a man in Moor who owes me a favor, more than one in fact. His name is Bertrand, and he works at the stables. Tell him I sent you. I shall return as soon as I find something. You can't help but notice that Isabel is wearing a little bit of blush. Which means that makeup exists in this universe. And if makeup exists in this universe, couldn't we just put some cover-up on our face? <laughs> like, I mean, I guess we would need a lot of cover-up. But if done well, could probably just hide that damn symbol. You say these are all from Dalmechia? There's nothing here for your kind, Branded. Go on now. Shoot. I have a delivery from Etienne. Fresh from the master's table. Why didn't 
since you say so. <laughs> Times are hard. But this here will make them less so. For a while, at least. Sorry it's drugs. Meant nothing 100%, man. <laughs> it's drugs. Wait right here. Yeah. You can tell Etienne I'm a man of my word. Perfume. Oroflam's finest. Just as promised. Okay. Essence of Rose. Is he trying to like pretty himself up to go to the to the brothel? No business with Brand. Well, I have business with you. A package fresh from the master's table. I do not know you. Where is the merchant, Etienne? Somewhere the gate guards won't be paying him or his affairs any mind. Fine. Hand over the goods and be gone. This is lighter than usual. Branded, if I discover you have played me false, I can always take it back. You will do no such thing. Your master should cut out your insolent tongue. Had you been Oops. the tool of any other man, I would see you clapped in chains. Payment. Take it and get out of my sight. Cigars. Those cigars are worth more than your life. Do be careful. With the way most of you view Brandon, I don't see you thinking my life is worth much. So <laughs> it's not really saying anything. I warn you now, I don't sell to your kind. Whether you have the coin or not. Where's your master, anyway? Etienne sent me. Didn't know he had his own bearer. Business must be booming. All right. Quickly now, before the guards notice. Every Johnson Jostle of this unexceptional leather sack is accompanied by an eerily melodic tinkling that is likely best ignored. Okay. Are they just sacks of gold? Oh, burden off my back. And this is for Etienne. All this for a drink. Not just any drink. The very best. Specially distilled from our most discerning customers. I'm choosing to believe it's that? drugs. Either way. It before you can blink. You keep it well hidden. All right. If Etienne likes it, tell him there's more where that came from. For a price. Of course. Of course. Perfume, cigars, and spirits. Someone has expensive tastes. The question is, how can they afford to maintain them? I suppose there's only one way to find out. Give me one fish, fish! Dealing drugs will probably do that for you. Just throwing that out there. Right. Is the right to confiscate any objects. Yeah, I think, yeah. The girl's closer. We'll turn in that one first. All right. Are you here for business or pleasure? Business. Though not my own. The Chamberlain put me to work delivering food. Ah, so he found someone to help him then. Just as well. I hear his friends back at court have been taking a little too much interest in him of late. So he really is a Chamberlain. There was a time when he was the Vow's most illustrious customer. Us girls thought of him as a generous <laughs> uncle. Generous uncle. He was one of the <laughs> only people around here who seemed okay. by the way the Empire treats its bearers. Rare for one in his position. A fact not wasted on the Dane. A little nudge from her is all it took, and he became the patron saint of Northreach's starving masses. My sisters and I may have lost an uncle, but bearers are being fed for a change, so we don't grumble. Much. Glad to hear it. Gives you faith, though, doesn't it? To know there are people out there like him. And you, for that matter. So I wonder the Dane's got a soft spot for you. <laughs> I better be going. 
Why I'm feeling a little awkward. I get it, dude. Same. And now to Etienne. You got you got any explanation for what you just had me do? Cuz I'm mighty curious what I was delivering for you. Ah, you have returned. I believe these are yours. Delightful. The dame will be pleased. You don't say. And would she be pleased to learn what you had to exchange for those items? You mean the crystals? No need to be mm -hmm. coy, my boy. That's what it was, okay. In the first place. An honest man wears deception like shackles about his ankles. I couldn't risk you stumbling under the gaze of the guards. After all, we both know the punishment for dealing in unsanctioned crystals, even such morsels as I provide. And if you don't know what this day's work may have cost you, then, well, I dare say you'll sleep all the better for it. Despite the risk, our friends beyond the wall gladly give their finest and most treasured wares for the paltry crumbs I trade in. I didn't realize crystals were so scarce here. As scarce as chocobo teeth. Hence the thriving market for even the scam. I'm assuming they don't have chocobo or chocobos don't have Do teeth. <laughs> vulgar that I profit from the hardship of others. I think you're doing what you believe is necessary. Yeah, indeed. And I don't doubt the dame would agree. A reward for a job well done. I have the goods I was commissioned to gather, and the guards are none the wiser. I thank you. As will our mutual friend when she hears of how you have aided me. And honestly, wouldn't getting crystals... I mean, I know, like, right now we're currently working to <laughs> rid the world of some of the crystals and all that stuff. But, like, getting them into the hands of common folk seems see like a good thing. Make their lives a little bit easier. Like I don't, I don't see how that could be bad. I mean, granted, they're merchants; they're pretty well off already, but still, better than royalty and just dicks. <laughs> I have to explore that little castle over there. There's no getting around it. Um, we can see what the timely assistant assistance thing does. That was weird. It didn't drag him. That is pretty nice. It definitely makes the dog a lot more useful. Having him constantly just doing things. I can't argue with that. Is there anything? Watchtower. Should be well stocked. Wait. Or are we really gonna? <laughs> okay, that's fine then. I didn't. I didn't expect us to, like we're supposed to be trying to fly under the radar. So maybe we shouldn't be just fighting random Imperials at the moment, but you know, each their own, I guess. Damn, there's a lot of dudes around here too. I mean, again, I guess it is literally a watchtower. Shouldn't actually be surprised. Demon Tamer Sash? Okay. 
It's stronger than what we have. While slaying a demon merely returns its soul to the hell whence it came, till such time as it is re-summoned to inhabit a new host, taming a demon is a much more effective means of dampening its evil influence on the corp corporeal plane. By luring and trapping the undying spirit of hell spawn into accoutrement <laughs> worn on one's person, one might also harness the power and channel a portion of it as one's own. Hmm. Does that actually change our look? If it does, I'm not seeing it anywhere. I know, like, the sword changes. Look, whenever we switch it out for a new one, but... So, wait, was that it? We can't go inside or anything? I mean, a new piece of equipment is still a new piece of equipment, but... I did expect more than one sash. <laughs> Kill the colorful chocobo. Oh damn, this one's almost dead. Can I get the other one maybe? No. Get wrecked. Hey, get in the tornado. Are you are you in the tornado? I don't think you are. Oh, I, I think I think I missed a little bit with that. Look, the tornado makes it a little hard to see what's going on, okay? Any other, like, interesting Arathan, points? How many bearers no. suffer to keep your granaries full? Not really. Maybe the windmills, but I don't feel like there's going to be anything all that interesting over there. More side quests. Let's go. Now I'm going to actually turn in the mission first and then we'll, or well, not turn in, but talk to the person and then maybe we'll do the side quests. If, if they seem boy, quick, we'll do them, but otherwise, success. meh. It's no wonder they I mean, we're going to do them eventually. Don't get me wrong. Just whether we do it tonight or not is the iffy part. Kitties are medicated and pumpkin dinned. <laughs> you get in your shower. Have fun, love. Enjoy your shower. The dame sent me. Sounds about right. Only time I hear from her is when she wants something. Well, go on then. What is it? One of her courtesans has gone missing. And I need to find her. A soldier who may have information on her whereabouts is rumored to have come here to meet with a trader. Many traders stop to peddle their wares on their way to the capital, but only one has been seen quarreling with a soldier. Is he still here? The trader? Oh, yeah. Stubborn sod stood his ground till the soldier... I forgot about the Reese's Puffs minis. Yeah, I picked up Reese's Puff minis. You can have some if you want. Keep your head down. I might eat some in a bit. Fact is, now that you reminded me about them. And that's even with the dame's brooch for protection. Understood. Okay, so people really don't like branded. I kind of knew that already. Weirdly enough, this merchant I seems to be willing to talk to us, though. Be gone. Okay, he doesn't seem happy about helping us out, but he's willing to. Uh, nothing I care about. Not going to sell any of the purple stuff. Honestly, yeah, I just, I don't need, I don't need money bad enough to really care about selling anything, to be honest. You made muffins? That's dope, dude. I love muffins, I'm not gonna lie. What kind? Like, chocolate chip? Vanilla? Icing? No icing? Personally, I feel like a muffin with icing is more of a cupcake than a muffin, but to each their own, dude. I know Noodle really likes uh, some muffins with icing on them. Rumor has it you were seen arguing with a soldier some few days ago. A soldier with a scar over his eye. Uh, yes, uh, 
Yes, that's right. Uh, he had a comb which she <laughs> claimed was an antique. Double chocolate chip. And that's mm. for a new what? <laughs> a plus, <Right>. dude. <laughs> chocolate chip muffins are probably my favorite kind. As I told them. I've never had a muffin I didn't like, to be fair, but chocolate chip is A tier. And double chocolate chip? Like, come on. <laughs> come on. Oof. <laughs> There's a muffin place I'll have to tell you about. It's a local chain, though, so I'm not going to say it on stream, but yeah. <laughs> they do have really good muffins, but they're iced, so. Tell me about them now. They have all kinds of flavors, and they're huge. <laughs> and they are, like I said, they are really freaking good. Um, but yeah, they come from a, a local chain, so. Okay, that has us going off in the distance. So let's see what these side quests are real quick. What can I deliver or grab or kill for you? Because it's going to be one of those three things. I do really like the view with the water here, man. This is a pretty area. Um, have you seen my Chloe? I let her out of her pen while I did my chores. And she hasn't come back yet. I think she's lost. Please, can you help me look for her? Uh, sure. Is it a dog, a cat, a bird? I'll try. Describe her to me. She has beautiful white hair. She lets me stroke her when I'm sad. She was ever such a good girl. So quiet and kind. And she likes walking in the wheat. I know the fields are big, but she's never got lost before. Oh, she must be starving too. She hasn't eaten anything since yesterday. It is my job to feed her. In that case, I shall keep her waiting. Or is it a chocobo? It's probably a chocobo. That's a lot of field to search. With a little luck, someone might have seen her. Wait. This is okay. Oh, we're asking people if they've seen her. I was like, hold on a second. I need to ask you something. Hmm. A branded and an outsider at that, judging by the lack of manners. Why should I help you, eh? You tell me that. Bro, how was I being rude? What did I say? Chloe. Have you seen her? Chloe, is it? Oh, little Lisette's clay thing. Last I saw, the filthy creature was sniffing about the windmill. That girl's old enough to know she should tie her pet up when she's finished playing with it. The windmill. <laughs> branded in her breathing, yeah. That's all it takes now. around these parts. I Fair enough. Branded underfoot. <laughs> <laughs> Bruh, branded or not, a dude comes up to you looking like that. With this giant sword on his back, all beefed up, dressed up like a vampire slayer over here. Like, <laughs> I ain't gonna be a dick to the dude, man. I don't know. Those are all good reasons to be nice to someone. You're late. What kept you? Late for what? Did they tell you nothing? A wild beast is savaging my boy. Well, don't just stand there gawping. Rescue him. Right. Are these two quests, it? like, intermingled oh, by any chance? I see they've sent me a branded with a so that would be funny. A change. No, damn. Way, towards the coast. Go, and see that you kill the beast. That would have been neat. Like, say it was a chocobo when the chocobo was... I don't know. Can, do chocobos lick things? <laughs> Ru so <laughs> nuzzling. Nuzzling his that. boy. And he's just overreacting because it seems like a bit Something's of a dick. Not right here. I need to be careful. But the wolf! It's going to eat me! Not if I can help it. Stay back. I'll deal with this. Get the wolf, boy. Stay back. 
get wrecked. <laughs> hey boy, stay away from the giant whirlwind of fire, by the way. That's <laughs> probably not good for you. We're in a little bit of close quarters. I wasn't thinking about that when I was murdering this thing. Enemy slain, I know. One wolf, dude. <laughs> like... No! You weren't supposed to kill Wolfbeam. You were supposed to die. Oh. Your father will have you whipped for this. Pharaohs aren't supposed to win. They never win. What is oh this? Oh my god, dude. Your father said you were being attacked. You're not supposed to talk. Stop looking at me like that. We were only having fun. Having fun? Why are you still speaking? Father will hear of this. Royal little dick, I see. Or not royal, but rich. Rich little dick. Just a dick. That's... The wolf's work, no doubt. But it's not the wolf that's to blame. Someone needs to put an end to this. Before it happens again. I mean... We got a sword. We know where the dude is. Just throwing it out there. We could deal with it pretty quickly. <laughs> We're already one in men. <laughs> like MGS5. MGS5, yeah. Anyways, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm listening. What the hell? Just completely crystallized. More brown than white. You're not Chloe, are you, girl? Is that someone napping on Bruh. the job? I hope they don't mind the interruption. That's Chloe, isn't it? Her quote unquote pet. Which is a dying branded. A crystal's curse. Chloe, I was calling you. Didn't you hear me? What? Ah, uh, that's so fucked. You've slept long enough. It's time to go home. Chloe? Why did you already turn into a rock? I only made you do a bit of magic. You knew you were my favorite. None of the other Chloe's had prissy hair. It could be months before Dad gives me another one. I have to wait until they're too tired to work anymore. Is that all she was to you? A plaything. <laughs> I mean, again, not care that she's dead. I'm not usually a fan of child dead. murder, she's but. <laughs> Crystal's curse. That's just how she died. Uh, <laughs> Giving another God. bearer her name won't change that. No, don't, don't say that. It's true. And without that brand, she would have been just another girl, somebody's daughter, just like you. But Dad said bearers don't have parents. They do. Yo, dude, I just figured out what we do. Murder would be wrong, you so instead, we just make a brand of our own that happens to look exactly like that. And all these dicks we come across, we just, you know, phoenix fire a little bit, warm it up, and press it to their fucking face, and <laughs> problem solved. Oh, you were a noble. Now you're just another fucking branded. <laughs> Bet you wish everybody wasn't such a dickhead now, eh, dude? 100%. I say that's how we deal with it. Bro, what are you gonna do? Seriously? <laughs> what the hell do you think you're gonna do? There you fighting my son. You slaughter his poor pet and then have the gall to return, head held high. That wolf was trained. Better trained by far than your worthless kind. 
You are the entertainment, nothing more. And we are most certainly not entertained. Nor am I. You'll pay for what you've done. See, I told you, he talks too much. It's not right. I don't like him, father. You're not the branded I bought, are you? How dare you deceive me? Well, the sins of the slave are the sins of the master. Go! Summon the unlucky wretch you answer to. <laughs> hmm. That unlucky wretch would be the dame. I can summon her if you like. Though I doubt she would welcome the interruption. You, uh, you, um, serve the dame. Why would a woman of her caliber... You look afraid. Well, how do you think those bearers in the field felt? Can you imagine their fear? <laughs> Just slit his Airplane. throat. Just get rid of him. You might say you're starting to get an idea of the Brand first. his face, whatever. Now, if you need help with the second... Father, he's scaring me. You think to threaten us, Branded? The dame's pet or no, I, I will not abide such insolence. Can't we just buy another hound? A bigger one, a better one. Of course, my son. I'll have the villagers fetch us another. With jaws powerful enough to nip this Branded's head clean <laughs> off his Bruh. shoulders. I don't think you know the size hounds I've slaughtered. <laughs> <laughs> Unless you got hounds bigger than Ifrit, man, I I don't think it's gonna be much of a problem for us. I can't just leave those bearers lying out there. They deserve a proper burial. How many bearers have lost their lives to this nobleman's sport? Too many. Deal with them. Love that we're burying these ones, but not Chloe. Like, how do you pick and choose who gets of the nobles games. buried and who doesn't? You must be Clive. How do you know my name? The Dame. I'm in her service, like yourself. Never gets any easier burying the dead. Is that what you're here to do? The mistress has me see to it that none are left to the crows. Since you're here, can you give me a hand? Gladly. Let's put them to rest. Rah. She's already had the taxidermist. God damn it. <laughs> Just because one cruel little girl and her father sees her as animals, man. Like, or sees them as animals. She still Maybe deserves better. Be lifted. I take it you slew the nobleman's pet? I did. Now I expect they'll find another soon enough. And when it gets here, all bearers will die. How can they think so little of sending us to the slaughter? Simple. Because you are not them. Bearers are tools when they're needed. And toys when they're not. And if one breaks, well, you can always buy another. Still, such attitudes don't always go unpunished. <laughs> oh no! Is this your doing? They found a mean dog. Darn. It's in their nature. You invite one into your home, it's gonna tear your throat out eventually. Same with bearers. Bear Help them for not. twenty more hides. Yeah. Like <laughs> what will mm. folk do when they bite back, I wonder? The realm's less two murderous bastards, and I won't mourn the loss. Here. For their help. I'm starting to wonder where all these bloody hides are coming from, dude. I'm not sure they're all wolves. <laughs> you never know. 
There seems to be more fallen bearers around here than fallen wolves. That's all I'm saying. We just run around with like human leather armor and shit. <laughs> Magic dash, let's go. That'll be so useful for something, I'm sure. What are these big birds? Oh, they're just vultures, okay. They look shiny, I thought maybe they were neat, but no. As long as it has a piece of the brand, the guards won't say anything. I mean, that's probably true is the worst part. Because, like, they don't see them as human, obviously. So, like, would they even be mad? Probably not. As fucked as that is. <laughs> like. Bruh, get in that tornado. What is wrong with you? Are you still alive? Thought the tornado would have finished you off by now. It smells of death here, Togo. Wolves. Loaded wolves at that. Ooh, yeah, there's a uh, there's a couple dead over here. Deadly chain? Oh, Why can I not hit that? Okay. Collision was a little weird there for a second. I couldn't hit that one. Five more bloody hides. It's my favorite. Damn it. What were they doing out here, though? I'm assuming they were running away together, but how did they end up over here? Well, the wolves have been busy, but the blood is long dry. So it is you, Tatian. If that's true... And the body next to hers will be Yannick's. The girl Yannick went off to sea every night. You said her name was Tatien. You. Did you follow me? Now, why would I do that? Unless you think I'd have good reason to. But no. You were sent to find Yannick. And by the looks of things, I have. And you both found who we were searching for. Yeah, he was a jealous sod. Couldn't stand the thought of his woman with someone else. Then one day he sees her with a new comb. Thinks mm. she's got herself a new galant. Tells the garrison he's going to find the man and kill him. We know it's all talk, but then he disappears off to more for some dealings and doesn't come back. If you mean this comb, it was a gift from the dame. <laughs> if only Yannick could bother to ask, eh? He might not be rotting on a hill. I think he meant to ask us something else. He stole the old comb and bought her a new one in the hope they'd wed. Wed? Where would they have gone? Certainly not back to Northridge with a dame waiting. And we all know what happens to deserters. Tell the dame I'm sorry for her loss. When the lads come to collect Yannick's body, I'll see that Tatian is delivered to the Vale. Is that wise? 
Ah, oh, and there won't be any covering up this mess. The most we can hope for is that the dame doesn't hold it against us. Speaking of which, I saw her in Moor just now. Could you tell her what happened? Might sound better coming from you. Sure thing, my guy. Can we explore those ruins by any chance? I, I don't think so. Out. It looks pretty. Perhaps the comb will give her something cut to off. At the by. Is it even an opening? Eh, it might just be rock back there. During the cutscene, it looked almost like it was open, so I thought maybe, just maybe, we could actually go back in there and do something, but no luck. Any chest or anything I can steal from you, Dix? Yeah. Not worth it. <laughs> Any other chests of things I can steal from you, Dix? Nobody else is hiding some goods behind their house. The bloody hides of fallen bearers. Some sharp fangs from recently deceased wolves. Me. Suppose not. If it was a... You are still in one piece, I see. You will be pleased to hear that your companions have arrived. Hey, hey about time. A little chapel to the east of here. Thank you, but you needn't have come all this way just to tell me. I was on my way to see you. You, you found her then. Not good news, though, I'm sad to say. I see. My dear Tatia. It is by no means uncommon for a client to fall for a courtesan. Especially a client who is young and far from home. But rarely do such tales have happy endings. Not a free comb, though. I mean, I, hey. <laughs> I believe it was yours. Get that hair under control. Yes, love? Did you get the ball? No, I haven't been downstairs. What are you talking about? Thank you for returning it. I shall see. I haven't moved from this chair in two and a half hours. Before you do, I have one last gift. <laughs> oh no, it's gone. The veil My God. its patron several high-ranking officers of the Imperial Army. According to one of the looser-tongued gentlemen, it would appear that the legions are planning to march south. Or to mention the same thing. Ah. But did he mention that it was all of the legions? Ah, this is no mere big scourge. fight. Were I to guess, I'd say the Emperor planned to abandon the capital. But that couldn't possibly be true now, could it? Take the entire up. bowl. <laughs> <laughs> the bug just went Super Saiyan and carried the bowl away with it. Spoils of war, it's theirs now. <laughs> oh, God. Get it, boy. Ah, <laughs> oh, we can give him treats, even? All right, abandon chapel, and then we're done. How do we get? How how do we get to the abandoned chapel? You can't find. Wait, you can't find the bowl or the bug? Because <laughs> if you can't find the bowl, bro, <laughs> seriously though, that, that that's just hilarious to me to think of. But like, it was probably one of the cats, especially if it was one of the glass bowls that it was in. Because you know Charlotte would have seen, like, a bug skittering around in that glass bowl and just had a field day. Both. <laughs> it's probably one of the cats. Probably Charlotte, if we're being honest, but...
It was a glass bowl? Yeah. 100% then. Charlotte or one of the other cats saw the bug skittering around inside the bowl and decided to have some fun. That's 100% what happened, man. I understand companies want to use the fancy trigger tech on the PS5, but like, dude, it's really not necessary to, to, to hold R2 to open a gate. Like, this is definitely isn't the only game that's done such a thing, but like, it, it's just, it's really not. None worth mentioning. As I was telling Jill, it's worse than I thought. The capital's crawling with soldiers. And here I am, the deserter come home. Which is why we'll be taking the back door. I mean, can't Shiva fly? Maybe it'd be a little too obvious, but if we waited till like night or something, couldn't Shiva just like grab us and carry us over? Or maybe like use the fire or not the fire the her ice powers to just make an ice walkway so we could just walk across the the ocean there ocean lake sea whatever it is yes like i said definitely not the only game <laughs> but still unnecessary god of war comes up as a good example in my head on uh well at least the original ones on like PS2, PS3. Can't think of a safer place in the Empire than it. Brothel. Really? Yes. Does it seem very private? I think this is a little more Game of Thrones than Lord of the Rings. You know, for the hideaway being such strap for cash, Sid sure did just drop a large bag in that girl's hand. Shards are loaded for transport. That is one of the most heavily guarded points in all of Sambrek. But not the most, which is a start. Besides, I know a shortcut straight to the heart. A shortcut. And how exactly did you come to know about this fatal chink in the Empire's armor? Let's just say I may have attempted something similar before. And may have ended up running for dear life after being discovered by Bahamut, but that's not important. <laughs> Oops. Sid, if the Mother Crystals truly are the cause of the blight... If... That's why they're in debt, yeah. Sid just throwing sacks full of money at whores. That's... <laughs> I can see it. I can see it. In case you haven't noticed, the God-fearing people of this realm and their pious leaders care for but one thing, themselves. And they'll do whatever it takes to hold on to power. The rest of us are just a means to an end. The moment you raise your voice against them, you're decried as an outlaw. Clapped in irons and slung in a cell to rot. Whoever controls the crystals controls the realm, but our kind can wield magic without them. To our rulers, we must seem the most convenient of tools, and the most dangerous. But what makes them think they have the right to use us? To leave us to die when our bodies are spent? Does a nobleman weep for a broken mug? A torn tunic? Our fate means nothing to them. I'm still curious if the no, dominance battle you can win with words. have the same have tried, troubles the that the, the bearers have. The like, simply not ready to listen. So to if they talking, overuse their powers, do they turn into stone? Do they crystallize? The you can't blame a man for wanting to bring an end to all this, can you? I can't. But what of all the people you mean to rob of their comforts? Are you happy for them to call you outlaw? Sid the outlaw. Ah, that'll do, mate. 
You might at least pretend to take this seriously. Have a little faith, Jill. Even if you don't think much of my choice of digs. If it means my deeds will be remembered, I'll gladly play the role of villain. But first, we have a gate to crash. And once we're in, there'll be no turning back. So you best make ready. The world won't save itself. Fair enough, then. Well. We still can't save on the world map. Let's see. Well, this so. Uh, yeah, I don't think we've missed anything. Well, no, okay. Before we do that, though, because I can just come back here and save here. I'll make an extra save just in case, but. I don't think we've missed anything important, though. Save. New file. And... Over this one as well, yes. I just saw I remember which one's which. Because, like, I'm pretty sure, wouldn't it show, like, on the world map if any of these had anything for us to do? These are all the same, right? Yeah. Then these ones are all linked. Yeah. men here. Then it's fortunate the city guard doesn't take sentry assignment as seriously as you do. This bodes well. <laughs> That'll be a first. This may not be such a terrible plan after all. And what exactly <laughs> is that just... supposed to mean? Means we didn't have a ton of faith in you before. Nowhere near as secret as you claim. Oh, but that's half the fun of it. Life's too short for a perfect plan. You want a plan that'll keep you on your toes, stop you growing old and complacent. Worked for you, has it? Clive, my boy, even life's smallest challenges offer the opportunity to grow and to change. You must embrace these moments, allow them to suffuse your heart with a deep sense of fulfillment. <sighs> Narrowly escaping death at the hands of an enemy is not my idea of fulfillment. Hmm. I mean, it wasn't that long ago you were wanting to die, my guy. Not at all. Just wondering if the two of you had finished. Right. We make for the Mother Crystal's heart as planned. Destroy it and the whole thing should come tumbling down. And if the passage to the Inner Sanctum is guarded? Then we embrace the moment and use it to grow and change. And that looks like an excellent spot to call it for the night, guys. It is like 3.30, so <laughs> I got to work tomorrow, sadly, and I still got to prepare for work tomorrow. So that's all we are going to do for now. Um, tomorrow's Saturday, so Sunday night we'll be back playing some more. Going to keep playing it until we, we're done. It's not exactly... Uh, a big people puller for Final Fantasy 16. Doesn't exactly draw on the crowds, but I don't care, man. I'm just playing it for me because I want to play it. And I hope those of you who do join are enjoying yourselves because I am. And yeah, I don't know. I'm very tired. Have a good night, everyone. Thank you again for coming and hanging out while we played some more Final Fantasy 16. I hope to see y'all Sunday. Until then, though, be kind to each other, y'all. Bye bye It's a long game. It is a long game. Well, I mean... With side quests, I think it's, what, like 60-some hours or something like that? There's probably better data now that it's been out for a little bit longer. Um, 
Yeah, we are getting off, but now I'm curious. XVI. No, fuck, how long B doesn't? Final Fantasy 16. What? What do you mean there's no game? Oh, because it's XVI. Uh, how long to beat really needs to have better, like, yeah. Yeah, for completionists, it's 63 and a half hours. For main story, 32 and a half. Main plus sides, 51 and a half. So, I mean, it'll be a little bit, but it shouldn't be, like, forever. Anyways, though, yeah, we were leaving. So, <laughs> have a good night, guys. Thank you again. Until next time, Bye bye <laughs> not even the right one. There we get to five.